Hi, Patrice, how you doing? Okay, so this is uh, abstract and your statement of work. And I think this is an influence. It's an excellent um, introduction to the intent of the app. I think it's fantastic. Really good job describing this. Unfortunately, we are, have a lot of missing requirements for this week two and also week one. So don't forget now just to describe the project itself. So we have two parts. Project one is the actual process book where you present all of the um, uh, in presentation format, you present everything that is gone in the process of creating the, the uh, prototype. And then project two is the actual uh, creating the, the prototype, the wireframes, et cetera, testing and all of the things associated with uh, the user prototyping project. Okay, so again, project one is the process book showing the process. Okay, so last week in week one, we had a couple of things too. One was the ideation of the problem, which this is great. This is this would constitute ideation of the problem from week one. Then we have have to define the target audience to a very, very minute degree. Then the three main functions of the app, then the competition, including pros and cons. Then in week two, if we jump over here, we can see, you know what, I want to get rid of that right now because we don't need that. So we jump over to week two, and this is what's due. In addition to what was due last week, so each week you're going to scaffold off what you included last week. So um, uh, reasonable to say and suffice to say that week two's presentation of the project product, the process book should include materials from week one and week two. Okay, week three's presentation of the process book should include materials from week one, week two, and week three, and so on and so forth. So it's a, a work in progress, so to speak. So in week two, uh, project two mobile app prototype begin stage, we need ideation on the problem. So it's just kind of a recap of what the problem is. And then of course, your process book will show everything from week one. But for week two, you need to establish personas, personas and at least one scenario, wireframe sketches of all screens, storyboards for the scenario based on the uh, personas, and then uh, paper prototypes um, photograph ready for testing. Let me show you exactly. And none of that is included here. So we're we're at a we're pretty pretty well, I would say we're we're behind a little bit here. And we really got to get this to the to the point of 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 being current with what's expected so we can expeditiously move forward with all pieces in place. Let me show you what I mean here. I've got this example up here, and I really, really implore you to take a look at these examples. I post examples in the course announcements, and they really show you a great idea of what we're looking for. So here is the Waze Not app for this is week two presentation. So we can see we have everything from week one, the problem, the solution, main features and functions, target market, including demographics, needs, behaviors and values. And then we have competition, both pros and cons. That's all week one. Then we move into week two. Here's our personas. Remember, in week two, we're looking for personas with scenarios, wireframes, storyboards, and paper prototypes. So here's our first persona. Here's our second persona. Here's our third persona. I recommend three personas, each distinctly different from each other, but, both, but all uh, reflecting the target audience each persona. Now you take one of the personas, the individuals from the personas, and you put them in a situation that might require some benefit from using your app. Then you create a storyboard. So here's the storyboard based on, this is the scenario, based on the persona. So an individual from the persona is placed right in this situation, and the storyboard describes how um, the individual, where they are and what they're doing when, when they're confronted with a problem that could be rectified by using your app. Okay, then we have wireframe sketches. These are sketches for each page associated with the app. Okay, and I think there's 12 right here. That's a reasonable amount of sketches, I would say. So we need the wireframe sketches. And then you transpose those wireframe sketches to your user prototyping. And this is the reason they're sketches as opposed to digital mock-ups because you need to change them on the fly based on the results of your paper of your paper prototyping testing stage. So basically what you have is each screen of the wireframe is slipped into this kind of um, mock telephone. It's got a hole in the middle of it depicting the screen. So when, in your user testing you would just place the open screen right in there and ask, ask your questions. Okay so you would ask the test subject for example where would you click to set up your user profile and password. They would select that then you would quick change the page out to that screen they selected and then say okay where would you click to go to so and so. 
okay, so let's say, where would you click to go to flute lessons, per se, or for example, then they would click that, then you would slip that page in there. Okay, this is why it's important to have mockups of every page in the app, so you can slip that page in there and say, okay, now where would you go for this? And that's how you do your user testing based on paper prototypes, which are based on the wireframe sketches. Okay, so uh, again, Patrice, I don't want to sound discouraging, but we are a little bit behind here, so it's it's time to really uh, uh, put this in gear and, and, and let's let's get to where we need to be. Okay, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you, Patrice.